What do I have to do to drill it into your heads? Hair doesn't do anything. What's the point in having hair? I mean, seriously, let's take a moment, let's take a few minutes to analyze this. I mean, I've really been thinking about it on the drive here. I thought, what purpose does hair serve for a man? Now, I, I know, I know that we've had a history of believing that a man's hair in the likeness of a peacock is going to make him more attractive to a mate. But not in modern day, not in 2018, not when masculinity is seen even that much easier when a man gets rid of his hair. I mean, we live in the days of non-binary. Yeah, we do. That's a thing that people talk about. So when someone sees a masculine man, it really stands out. When a man gets rid of his hair, then it actually is an advantage to him. So I'm really, I'm trying to sort this out right now. How does it benefit a man to have hair? What, bragging rights? Oh, I can still grow hair even though I had no control over it because of my DNA, which predetermined how sensitive I was to DHT. Or what? Who cares? Even if a man thinks that in his own brain, the rest of the world's not chanting along with him. Yeah, 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 you can still grow hair. It doesn't work that way. And it's like people like me who have unplugged from the system, we get it. We're like, wow, everybody else doesn't know the secret yet that not only does hair have no benefit for a man, but it actually is an advantage to get rid of it. Like that's the world I live in. Like that is the world I live in. And I'm really truly simply trying to answer this question. What purpose does hair serve for men? I mean, at least a purpose that's gonna matter, what? Okay, well Nick, if you go out in the sun, you'll get sunburned more easily. Wear a hat. I mean, hey, if you, and you know, I'm not teaching you anything new. You Google this. Bald men are, appear to be more confident, taller, sexier. Like that's all over the internet. They keep doing these reports and proving that people respond very positively toward a man who is bald. Whether he could still grow a full head of hair or not, that's not so much the thing. It's a matter of he chose to do that or he is that way. Either way, if he's starting to lose his, he fully commits and gets rid of the rest. I'm really only seeing benefits to a man not having hair. I think having hair is a disadvantage. It only sets you up for disappointment later down the road at some point that you're gonna lose your hair so now you have to worry about it today at age 18, 23, 27. You've gotta worry about it. You've gotta email me a picture of your hair and say, Nick, am I gonna lose my hair? You know, like that's the thing you have to do. You have to carry that burden with you the whole time while you still have hair. Hair is a burden. I mean, I, I know I refer to it as having, as, as it being a confidence crutch. I think it's much more, much more of a burden than that. It's much more of a negative connotation than I'm leading on. I'm still trying to understand what purpose having hair does in, in a way that it's positive. What, you say, well Nick, uh, you know, a man will look more professional if he has a full head of hair. So what, you, you can't run for mayor if you have a bald head? Like I was in the airport in Maryland a few weeks ago and there was the mayor he had a hair style just like this, meaning it was a zero guard. He got voted. I mean, like, what, you can't be a game show host? Howie Mandel? I mean, what can't you do if you have no hair? Like, what's that holding you back? I only see, I only see advantages of not having hair. I don't, I don't think hair serves a purpose anymore. Not when society deems Bald men is taller, more in charge, more attractive. If that's how society views bald men, then why wouldn't you want to be that thing? Because think about this. It's like, well, oh no. Uh, what will people think if, I, if they notice and start losing my hair? Well, what will people think about me? But they'll think more of you if you get rid of it is the thing. 
But guys like me use this to our advantage because we know most men don't have what it takes. They're not brave enough to get rid of their hair. They'd rather clutch on to the hope that they get to keep their hair. And it's this whole, they're just grabbing on to this thing that just doesn't hold any value in life. So I'm convinced. I don't see any positive benefit of a man having hair. Okay? Because if you want to argue that people will see you as more attractive and youthful and all these things if you have your hair, okay, maybe you'll look younger with hair. But even that, is that something you need? Do you need to look younger? I mean, I've said this before, especially when attracting a female, they're often attracted to a man that looks older and acts older and seems older. So the appearance of being older in itself is an advantage. It's an advantage to get rid of hair. It serves no purpose that is going to make your life better. What I have learned in making these couple of thousand of videos and interacting to hundreds, if not thousands of you in the process, what I've learned is anxiety and even depression, confidence issues are all tied to hair. What if you get rid of the hair? What if you get rid of the confidence issues? What if you get rid of the anxiety and depression? What if you get rid of all that? What if the problem is growing out of your head and you just get rid of the problem? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm convinced hair serves no purpose for men that is going to enhance our lives. Our lives become more enhanced when we choose to get rid of the hair. Now, please, 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 I, I said that I'm, I'm convinced of that thing, but at the same time, I want to be a very open-minded person. So if you can, in the comments, give me one good reason, one good benefit of having hair compared to all the benefits I just said that's going to outweigh that, then I'll go, okay, and then I'll probably make a video about that. But I still think that everything I've presented, if anything proves that choosing to get rid of your hair is the biggest way to solve the problem. If it's, what, if it's you worried about what people are gonna think about you, what if it actually helps you? What if they think more of you? If you have, what if, the, if it's the epitome of less is more? Okay, please, I'm begging you, convince me that it is a benefit for a man to have hair. That it's a benefit that you weren't born with that DNA that causes you to never lose your hair, and you're 50 years old and have a perfect head of hair, Convince me that that's a benefit to a guy like me. I would already say that I'm more confident than the guy that doesn't lose his hair. Because I've, I've had to grow more as a human being. By default, I'm going to be more confident. I don't have anything to lose. Right? So, I just see nothing but benefits. You, you have to do whatever's right for you. But I think it's no way to live when you have to give a daily thought, oh no, am I going to lose my hair? Or at least, how long before I do lose my hair? Will I make it to 30? Will I make it to 40? Will I make it to 50? What does Nick Shell say? I don't care. I'm already there. And I look taller. I look more attractive. I look more masculine. I look more in charge. And that whole thing I've said before many times about how there's no true difference between actual confidence and fake confidence, it's kind of like that. You throw yourself in a situation where people already assume that you're more confident and taller and attractive and aggressive and all these good masculine traits. Hair so serves no benefit, no advantage, that can outweigh all the things I just said. But you're welcome to try in the comments right here.